Hello everyone, I'm old and in the way. You find me this morning on the back deck on what is proving to be yet another warm day here in Chicagoland, return of summer-like weather. Uh, we nearly broke a record yesterday for uh, heat. We hit 90 degrees, rather unusual for the 17th of September. Hmm. We've had no rain this month and precious little last month, so it's looking a little bit stressed around these parts. We're just days away from the autumnal equinox. I hope that changes as I am ready for the onset of autumn. Hmm. Well, today's video, a new pipe. Some of you may recognize Wazo Briars, Chris Harriet's pipes. He has recently changed the name to Chris Harriet Pipes. I will leave all of his contact information in the dispatch box below. I really encourage you to stop by and check out his pipes. Um, yes, I have been watching Chris and oh, for quite some time and his pipes have always been just really well crafted. Uh, he does traditional styles, pots and uh, oh, his uh, uh, billiards and prints, they're, they're all, I'd be happy with any of those. But I also started to see a transition uh, of his style and I wanted to see how that progressed. He has been working with Bruno Newtons and that collaboration, that mentorship has really had an influence on, on Chris's pipes. And he seems to have been, he's, he's sort of combining styles in a really cool way. This pipe is a perfect example of that. And that's what attracted me to it is that I see a Liverpool, nice round, elegant stem, shank and a Cumberland stem with this really nice cream ring to sort of make a nice transition from the stem to the shank. Thick bowl, thick walled bowl, which I really, really, I'm always looking for that. The transition, what always attracts me to a pipe, I look at it, is the transition between the shank and the bowl. And it's really done and handled quite nice. Very, really stylish transition. It's just a thing that I have. Um, it's very light, 46 grams. Feels so comfortable. I, I do favor straight pipes. I just like the way they, they fit and feel in my in my mouth good size bowl it's over six inches long yeah it's got so many things going for it and I could not wait I've already fired it up today I am doing my inaugural smoke with Germain's brown flake an absolutely delicious blend um, I received this as a gift from Newton Piper, Carl. I haven't seen you, Carl, I hope all is well. Uh, he graciously sent me that and it is a, just a super delicious blend. I happen to like brown flakes. They, mostly because they are a mature aged Virginia. They don't have that forward grass hay flavor. It's more of a malty a vegetal flavoring to profile. It's um, it's deep and rich, smooth, creamy, just just delightful. And I'm not smoking it as often as I'd like to because this stuff is so dang hard to get a hold of. 
and um, yeah, it was just just uh, the f kindness and, and uh, generosity of Carl that made that happen for me. Um, but I thought it'd be the perfect blend for this beautiful pipe. Um, yeah, working with Chris was a breeze. Um, he is a, an Englishman living in France. And this pipe got to me in less than 10 days. So I was really kind of surprised that I got it that quickly um, and very happy that I got it that quickly. Now it's proving it's smoking wonderfully. Uh, the drilling spot on, uh, the fit finish is just outstanding. So Chris, you hit a home run with this pipe. Uh, guys, if you're in the market for a uh, really unique, beautiful pipe, check out his website, Instagram. I'll leave all that info, as I said, in the uh, dispatch box for you. But I would, I would take a look. And uh, if you see something you like, don't hesitate. His pipes are, I'm noticing that they're starting to move. Word is getting out. And so uh, if you're in, at all interested, if this piques your interest, uh, definitely nip on over and um, yeah, act fast. <laughs> so without further ado, I am going to say farewell for now and I will see you hopefully in a week or so. I have um, a video that I've been wanting to make for a while about a, a way of packing a pipe that you may not have known about, but I've been doing it of late and I'm really pleased with the results. It's something that I want to share with you, something for your consideration. So look forward uh, for that. And um, until we meet again, take it easy, but take it.